don't know what my official role is. I, I was part of like the founding investors. Ryan is a is a dear friend of mine, and I've got become friends with Ravi and Todd as well. And uh, so very early on, he told me he wanted to be doing this, and I uh, said I would love to help in any way possible. And so he kind of let me come on board. And then at the same time, Suits was becoming popular, and Troyan came on board, and Pretty Little Liars was becoming popular. So it was just a way for us to use whatever like social media. Uh, attention or heat we have or ability to show up and just like do something for a good cause we that's that's what we do um, and just try and get the word out there and anytime somebody's eating a different snack bar we just take it out of their hand and then put this one <laughs> yeah it's really invasive the work that we do actually it's very personal um, it's very one-on-one -on -one. and the way that that it works is every bar that we sell domestically uh, means that there's one nutritional packet that goes to a malnourished child abroad in many many different countries and mm -hmm. so far we've helped a lot of children and uh it's been amazing to Crazy. be a part to watch yeah. this grow it's just been incredible that's awesome are there any specific countries that the bar focuses on are you ready it's all over yeah we've got lots <laughs> we have so south many. sudan somalia uh -huh. guatemala mexico uruguay. india europe did i mess this I up you already made, you already made it uh, uganda i think you meant Uganda. yes uganda yeah. a lot really? of africa africa is a big problem obviously malnutrition is a huge part problem in Africa. Um, but it's also, I think we work closely with the World Health Organizations mm -hmm. to figure out where the hotspots are. So yeah. they're the ones that really decide the places that need it. It's not like um, the company is sitting there going, well, where do we want to send these packets today? Uh, people who are far smarter and know where the problem spots are are the people that decide where the, where the hotspots yeah. are. Um, just going to work with my family every day. I miss all the people that I got to work with. The cast and crew yeah. were incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it just like embraces this concept of, of a one for one model of, of what like a Tom's shoes, Tom's shoe, Tom's shoes, Tom's shoes, Tom's shoes. <laughs> Uh, what they did so well, which is that you're going to buy something anyway. Mm -hmm. What if we gave you the opportunity in that decision-making process to buy it and then have that actually be a force for good in the world rather than just going yeah. into the pockets of a company that's making these all of ours. And, it, and, it's, yeah. and it's really not that complicated a business model. It's just about reaching out to these other companies around the world, like Plumpy Nut, who are responsible for making the nutritional packet mm -hmm. and getting them on board and just working together. You're just tying, you know, you're just tying all these businesses together and saying, how can we help? Uh, and in doing so, I think that makes this passive moment that you have in your day when you're grabbing a snack or doing something, you go, oh, I get to actually feel like that's doing something good in the world. And I think it's also really wonderful because sometimes when uh, when companies only purely rely on charity, there can be an end. You know, so people are willing to donate, but after a while the donations run out, then they have to ask for more donations. But when you're creating a really great product that people want to use, that people want to eat themselves or feed to their kids every day, there's never an end to the charity. Yeah. You know, and that's what I think is so wonderful about this product. Now, is here we are, like 3.4 million packets of these things later. They say they've just like reached 270,000 kids around the world. That's yeah. that's you know. Obviously, there's lots more to do, but that's uh, it's a big deal for a small company that's just in its beginning stage. What do you hope to see for the next year? For sorry. Oh, we haven't gone because we've been working on our shows. Yeah. We haven't been able to go on any of the trips, but we've been invited. And now yeah. that might be a possibility. Now, now that we're both a little more free, we might have the chance to, which would be great. Yeah. Well, I mean, we met working together, so we love working together. Uh, ultimately, our work on this on this is really just being in contact with those guys and saying how can we help so like it's pretty minimal but us working together anytime is great we you know and we have tons of these these bars in our house and we get them out at every party and uh we make sure and every time someone grabs them you can tell people hey i'm involved with this company try it and they're like okay okay they put it on then they'll eat the bar and they're like oh my god what are these i need to, to get these He's going to be the guy. Oh, they're just also the, yeah. really good. And they're really, <laughs> like, and they're that's really, the basis. And they're really healthy. They're also they're really healthy. Flavor? They're free. Anything? Yeah. Uh, oh, I would say it's, it's definitely dark chocolate and peanut butter for me. I haven't had the peanut butter and jelly yet, but I'm a. About, I think it's about to become my favorite. But the great thing about them is um, they are gluten-free, they're kosher, they're completely non-GMO. Yeah. And uh, they Just use small batch ingredients with natural. really natural sweeteners. So it's they're really good, wholesome bars as well. And wholesome. 
Yeah. yeah. Good, oh, I like that word. Well, I mean, wholesome. Like, you don't, you don't read the back of them and go, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah. 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 nothing yeah. sketchy. And yeah. what advice would you give to college-age students who want to give back in a meaningful way like this? Hmm. That's a really good question. Um, Probably to find people on campus that are working in arenas that are important to you. Uh, campuses are sort of rife with amazing causes that people are fighting really hard for. And I, it's exciting to watch young people and what they're doing today. And I, and I so if you're on a college campus, I think it's probably not hard to find somebody to align with and a group of people to get together with and figure out what they need. Thank you. Uh, it's actually well, a good difference because high school is a little different. I was actually uh, going to just add on to that, and I think it pertains to college or high school. I think it's also take take the time to think long and hard about what matters to you in the world and what causes really speak to you individually, because then when it, they're truly aligned with your passion, you're going to work even harder to make sure that you really make a difference in whatever that cause is. So I think it's really important to get clear about how you want to make a difference, how you want to help, and then try to find out the best way to do that. You definitely did when you worked with, uh, was it in high school? I was kind of a hermit in high school. <laughs> I was a little scared of my own shadow in high well, school. Well, yeah, so was I. Did you see me I immediately like, to flack that on you? I was like, oh, you definitely did. I think both of us were a little terrified of our shadows. <laughs> I, I, maybe you did. I don't think I did. No. I think we've actually I spent a summer in uh, Costa Rica um, on an hour bound and, 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 and spent some time with families down there and helping them out. But I, it was very, that was normal. I think what we've been really lucky uh, with is in, in experiencing some success in work and people getting to know us a little bit. We've had the chance to go back to, I personally have to go speak at colleges or to speak at um, college events and high school events and kind of try to connect with high school kids and college kids on a number of things like mental issues um, or even something like this, you know, like this bar saves lives yeah. uh, to try to talk to like a high school student about how they can make a difference in their own way. Yeah. Who says we happens. did? <laughs> <laughs> Still working on this? Uh, for me, I found theater. I think it's probably the same for yeah. you a little bit. I uh, just found my thing, found the thing that I wanted to do. Before that, I just I didn't know who I was. And then I found acting and theater and directing and writing. I just found my, my tribe, my people, and, mm -hmm. and they kind of helped me get out of my shell. Yeah.